Hi everybody, I'm Noah Green from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, and this is the liver. And these are two specific cell types within the liver. The blue cell is a hepatic endothelial cell, which are the cells that line the blood vessels that run through the liver. And the yellow cell is a hepatocyte, which is a common liver cell that helps the liver carry out its function, like detoxifying the bloodstream and producing hormones and other molecules that go back into the bloodstream and circulate throughout the body. And then the last thing that we can see in this video are these green tube-like structures that run through both cells. And this is the endoplasmic reticulum of these cells. And the endoplasmic reticulum helps produce a lot of these hormones and other molecules that get passed back into the bloodstream. So the interesting thing about this video is researchers at the Genelia Research Campus were able to visualize these holes in these hepatic endothelial cells that you can see here. And these holes actually allow these cells to act as sort of a protective barrier or a gateway between the hepatocytes and the bloodstream. Because hepatocytes can actually become overexposed to toxins or overworked, which can damage them or even cause them to die. So these hepatic endothelial cells with these holes that are called fenestrae help protect the hepatocytes while still allowing them to perform their essential functions and pass things back into the bloodstream as well. So, videos like this can give us a better understanding of how liver cells interact with the bloodstream, and therefore how the liver functions within the body, which could be the foundation for additional research on liver disease and give us a better understanding of the liver's relationship with all of the other organs in our body. So if you like this, please follow us or come back every day for new content.